And welcome back folks, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout. Last time we made quite a bit of a progress um, and then lost everything. This shall not happen this time. Because... Um, I shall actually... Make... Make a save at the appropriate point. Yeah, so we got uh, mutilated by some mutant with a minigun. Just right after I claimed that miniguns are nothing to be worried about. And you can make time pass by by reading this book. Um... Yeah, one thing I noticed last time when you're sneaking and, well at least when you're sneaking and have the stealth boy activated, if you kill um, one enemy, the other enemies in the vicinity will not um, get, yeah, will not get um, aggressive for some reason. What? You have a... You have a laser pistol? Um, if you do have a laser pistol, you should use it. Um, I mean, I said this because usually that guy doesn't even bother using his pistol. Okay, let's see how well we fare without our stealth boy and just sneaking enabled. Um, not fantastic. Okay, it's blind. Ah, need to reload. Um, and it's dead. Hooray. Um, might want to actually equip our stealth boy then. Um, you are making a mistake by coming here. Explain yourself or perish. I'm here to protect humanity from the likes of you. What kind of foolish bigotry is that? We are humanity. We are just as human as you are. There's no possible way that you are human. My name is Kyle. I was born to a mother and a father like yourself. The master just oversaw my rebirth. These muscles, this skin, this skin... This strength does not make me any less human than you. I do not like at all that the unity stands for. I do not like at all that the unity stands for. I think it should be what the unity stands for. But it is the best chance for peace that we have. You may be human, but that still doesn't make your unity right. I guess we will be enemies. It will be a true shame to see your head on a pike. And then... Stealth didn't work, um, but the muted mist. Um, just at his peril, and I missed too, and he did not miss, and neither did he. Um, Okay, I think that's the point where I should get get a little bit worried about my health. Um, okay. Let's, let's heal up and save afterwards. <laughs> I 
Um, so that would be this slot. Okay. Don't crash. Don't crash. Okay. Stim packs and plasma rifle. Just a regular plasma rifle. Ah, he had a laser. Laser. Um, laser. Laser rifle. Some stim packs. I. Yeah. Some stim packs. And then we'll go on to the next level. The level where we got killed last time. Hmm. Okay, let's not take any chances and just get rid of him immediately. Vincent was critically hit in the eyes. Hmm. Hmm. Shit. You can actually end combat, uh, which is very, very, very useful. Because we can heal up in the meantime. Um. Ah, he has some ammunition, yeah. Um, there are some unfortunate test su subjects here that you can rescue using this um, this console which gives us 2000 points of experience but then they exploded violently violently because of some invisible force barrier oops um, well to my knowledge there's actually no way to in disable this force barrier Let's talk to the mad scientist. Who are you? And why are you wearing that suit? To himself. I haven't seen one of those in a long time. I'm in disguise. Intruders have infiltrated the master sanctuary and I'm dressed like one of them to gain the confidence. <laughs> oh my god, this is so funny. Um, how dare you question one of the master special operatives? I'm <laughs> it's extruded rubber. So it's really easy to wipe <laughs> off your blood after I've killed you. I've after I kill you. Um, when have you seen a suit like this before? Vincent, prepare our newest volunteer. You again? And why are you disturbing the master's glorious future this time? I want to know what's happening with your experiments. It's not going well. I've been injecting the FTV direct to, directly into the pineal gland, but I'm not getting the results I'd hoped for. Um, what results are you getting? I have no time for your tomfoolery. Um, why don't you try injecting it directly into the amygdala? What an intriguing idea. I must try it at once. Um... Um, where do, are you keeping the failed experiments? In a room northwest of here. Is there anything else I can help you with? Um, thank you for your help. Bye. We'll kill them, but only later. Right now we want to kill these mutants. Um, well... We don't actually have to, so let's let's actually not kill them. Um, there's no point in doing that. Jason, Jason is a living god. Only the nullified may pass. Nullified? Are you? Are they somehow restricting your psychic powers by those psych by those devices you are wearing? 
Yes, the walls are alive with those that have gone before. I was like, you are in the wall? Meeting of the soul, melded with to protect the master of all. Hmm, I see. How do I protect myself from the protectors of the master? There's only peace in joining. The price, the pain, one must be blind. Nulled. Well, I need to join. Where can I pick up one of those snazzy nullifiers? I will anoint you. I must give what I must not. Thanks. And we just obtained um, a psychic nullifier. A device which will help you pass an otherwise quite impenetrable barrier. Um, preventing you from actually getting anywhere near the master. Okay. Um, and... We are actually quite close to the end of the game. Um, as we are actually not trying to take on the master directly. But my plan is to use the lieutenant's nuke key that we obtained in the Mariposa army base and just nuke him out of existence. Um, shit. Um, so we got spotted by him, but as you will see, we can kill him and still not um, attract the attention of the other mutants. Well, except if we do, and we did. Um. <laughs> so normally, this does not happen. Um. Ouch. Um. Ouch. Okay, there's no um, way around it. We need to heal. So much for self then. Um, I think we can actually, yeah, stop using that. Ah, cancel. Okay, um, let's get rid of him. Oh, shit. Um, I can at least hit you for two action points. No. Shit, I... Didn't unequip it. Damn it. Um, ah. Damn it. Okay, we need to heal again. Um Um, hmm. Ah, shit. And... That we perished. Your bones are blah blah blah. Let's try this again.
Ah, shit. Um, of course. Haha, <laughs> I didn't actually sneak. Um. And I got almost past him, but then the game decided. Uh, let's just um, choose a, instead of the direct path. Let's just make it pick a path going through all the mutants, because that makes sense. Okay, let's just reload. That's ridiculous. Stop it. Um. You can't skip combat sequences, which is... Uh, one of the annoying, one of the few annoying things of this game. Okay. What are you, why are you pathing, are you fucking stupid? <sighs> Fuck you game. Fuck you. Fuck you. Okay, but then again, um, it probably was the shortest path. Hmm. Do not do that again. Ah. I will just ignore you. Um. And we died. And we died very much. Very, very much. We died in a ridiculous amount of much. Blah, blah, blah. Um, and when we will come back, folks, we will try this again. So until next time, folks, until then. And welcome back, folks. Welcome back to Let's Play Fallout. Last time, we had a little... some problems um, with trying to sneak in to this elevator. So we shall try this one more time. And hope it works this time. Aha. Uh -huh. um, it seems to have worked. Now we will use the electronic lock pick. Ah, uh, that's actually not how this works. Um, you need to equip the lock pick. Sorry. Equip the lock pick and. Hmm. Ah, yeah. We've unlocked, unlocked the door. And now, we can simply... Um, uh, I think we need to lockpick this too. Wait. Hmm. The door is locked. But can we not lockpick it? Well, we can, actually.
Hmm. Ah. So just a little bit of luck was needed. Um, and down to the fourth floor we go. And we will end this. Um, we can now safely unequip the stealth boy. And unequip this and re equip our plasma rifle. And I, I will actually save um, just in case. Ah, and this is locked too, of course. Um, this is a live nuclear warhead, aka atomic bomb. That's that's our way um, to kill um, yeah to destroy this vault and to kill the master without actually having to fight him um, it's maybe it's not the most yeah this um, by the way this guy also had a turbo plasma rifle it's not the most heroic option to end this game but it's the easiest option, I think, if you want to keep all your followers, I mean your companions, alive. Um, okay. So. I will actually save again, because it might happen that we will run out of time. Then I have to do this again. Uh, sorry. Use the, the key that we got from the lieutenant. Yeah. And we need to get out of here um, as quickly as possible. Well, at least under three minutes. Um, I need to re equip my stealth boy, actually. And really hope that we are not getting um, into any trouble. Time is ticking away while I'm trying to use the interface of this game. Shit. Um, let's just run. Let's run. Yes, we can't afford to fight them. Um, shit. Time is ticking away. But we were able to end combat. Successfully. Um. Okay, first floor. Quick, 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 quick. Um. We've killed all of them, but those guys are still alive. Yeah, shit. Um, time is ticking away, and we will not fight them. Shit. Okay, I might have to, actually. Um, okay. Um, and we ended sneaking. Go back to sneaking. Okay, and why is this disabled? Faster, come on, come on, faster, faster. Just fuck you. Fuck you, fuck off, fuck off and die.
Okay. 160 seconds. Faster, 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 faster. 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 Come on. Just do it. Okay. Uh, come on, buddy. Stick together. Stick together. Uh, like your help. And now get out of here. Get out of this place. Quick, 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 quick. And... Kaboom. And we leveled. Which doesn't matter by this point, but... Mm. The death of the Master was the first major step towards ending his mad dream of conquest and enforced peace. But it is the destruction of the Vats that neutralizes the mutant threat. Without the ability to create more mutants and enforce their harsh brand of justice, the mutant armies flee to the east, beyond the no-man's land. So there are still some mutant armies, I mean the mutant army left apparently. The mutant attack on Necropolis spares none of its ghoulish inhabitants. Oh. After the mutant armies advance, they leave a truly dead city behind them. Hmm. I think this is actually non-canon. In Shady Sands, Tandy helps her father Aradesh bring a new community and new life out of the broken remains of the world. That's nice. They are responsible for the new California Republic, whose ideals spread across the land. Hmm. Killian Darkwater takes firm control of Junktown drives out the last of Gizmo's kind, and then enforces his own brand of frontier justice. Hmm. Life is fair and safe under his law. The Brotherhood of Steel helps the other human outposts drive the mutant armies away with minimal loss of life on both sides of the conflict. Hmm. The advanced technology of the Brotherhood is slowly reintroduced into New California with little disruption or chaos. The Brotherhood wisely remains out of the power structure and becomes a major research and development house. With your assistance, Old Harold brings the ghoul population of the hub into equality with the humans. The two sides work together and the hub prospers. Hmm. Old Harold is still alive, as far as anyone knows. The Desert Raiders eventually regroup and manage to terrorize small communities in the years following your adventures. Oh. We didn't wipe out the desert raiders. Um. Hmm. Your involvement with the various places and people of the wasteland is well documented by future historians. Only a single question remained unanswered. What happened to you? Hmm. What did happen to us? The Overseer. You've done it. That's wonderful. Amazing. I'm so proud of what you've accomplished. What you've endured. Hmm. Let's barter with him. Okay, he will not barter with us. Um... There's no way the people of the Vault can ever thank you enough for what you've done. You've saved all our lives. Who knows? Maybe even saved the human race. That makes the rest of this even harder. 
Hmm. You're going to kick me out of your vault, aren't you? Everyone will want to talk to you. Every youngster will look up to you and want to emulate you. And then what? Hmm. They will want to leave the vault? They'll want to leave. What happens to the vault if we lose the best of a generation? What if we are the only safe place in the world? You just gave us back all these lives. I can't take the chance of losing them. Yeah, but what's the point of living your whole life in the, in, in the vault? I mean, that's not something that humans are cut out for. I think you are... You are an obstacle. I've made a lot of tough decisions since I took this position, mm. but none of them harder than this one. You saved us, but you'll kill us. I'm sorry. You're a hero, and you have to leave. I don't think I would kill you. Um, I mean, not you personally. I would kill. I would kill you personally, but. I really don't think I would kill this vault. And sooner or later, people will try to go out into the outside world. And you can't just keep the status quo until forever, old man. Um... Do we wish to continue playing Fallout Fix with this character? Um, no, I will actually end the game here. Um, hoping that my, my recording doesn't screw up. Yeah. And that was the end. The end of Fallout. Not the end of the Fallout franchise. And I hate that word, franchise. Um, I never played any of the other... Well, I played the second game to some extent, but never completed it. And I never played one of the, any of the later games. When I first played Fallout, I really enjoyed this game. Um, and I was quite impressed, actually. Um, and those uh, very unmodest people who created this follows fixed patch replaced the end credits um, with their own credits apparently I mean it's fine if you just it's fine that you give the community this patch but don't change the ending credits that's um Immodest. Okay, anyway, back to the Fallout. Um, I really enjoyed the, the game when I first played it. Um, and initially and partially I really enjoyed doing this Let's Play. But after a while, a while it also got a bit... I, I got a bit wary of this game, and I'm also very glad that I'm, it's now finally over, in a sense. Um, I'm not sure that I will that I will play uh, make a let's play of the second game. Maybe, um, maybe in the future. Certainly not now. I'm I can't stand any more Fallout. Yeah, so with with one slot fixed, I mean, it's freed up now. Um, it has to be filled, of course. And I've already decided a game that I will play. Um, it's a very different game. In it in no way related to Fallout, and it's certainly not an RPG. The problem with RPGs is that they just um, they are so long, and with my style of playing, 
it takes even longer. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure whether I should... Well, I, I think I will do some... play some more role-playing games in the future, but maybe I will stop being so obsessive about dialogue options and getting every single nook and cranny um, and, and reload so much. Yeah, those are still the um, the fan made, the fan patch ending credits. I, I'm not sure whether they will even show the original credits, which would be a shame. Since despite all the flaws that this game had, um, and still has, it is certainly um, a game that has made gaming history and that you should have played at some point in time. Um, I will perhaps um, play the predecessor to this game at some point in the future. Just in order to see how... Um, maybe it's not... Ever, maybe I won't do a let's play, but I will play it perhaps at some point. Just to see how it compares to this one. Because essentially... Um, Fallout is what they wanted Wasteland to be, but couldn't make it because they lacked the technology background. So this game came out in 1997, and Wasteland was, I think, early early 90s, maybe even the end of the 80s. And yeah, Wasteland doesn't have any music, I think, um, and certainly no no nice graphics. I mean, these graphics are nice compared to the graphics graphics of Wasteland. But interestingly, the the main gameplay seems to be essentially the same. I mean, um, for instance, these the system. Um, yeah, the in system. I mean, of these abilities and things like um, yeah, st stealing skills and stuff like that, that's all already in in a Wasteland. But it simply doesn't work out as nicely because the graphics are really primitive. Um, and it's, it's... Everything is very abstract, let's just say. Um, I'm still waiting for the proper ending credits which I think will not will not even show up. Um, well, I think I will shut up now and let you watch the rest of these um, yeah ending credits for the for the patch, which by the way isn't that great because it's still um, it's the game is still not completely bug free. Um, and yeah, it, the, the fanmade patch also introduces some problems on its own, like save game incompatibility. So I wouldn't even advise it to install this patch. Um, yeah, but I will just shut up now and just say that, yeah, I will hope that I hope that you at least partially enjoyed this. So let's play and if it if not then that's also okay but i hope that you will join me on my upcoming let's plays um yeah so until next time folks until then <laughs>